there was a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Take two. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I thought I would show you how to make the coolest cocktail ever. And when I say the coolest, I mean the absolute coolest. It changes colors, it sparkles, and it catches on fire. Like, what more could you want in a cocktail? It's freaking cool. And I'm also gonna show you how to do it um, virgin style in case you can't legally drink yet or you just don't wanna have alcohol and you want a really fancy fun drink. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you how to make it. It's called the Phoenix Cocktail and I actually found it on, I think it was called the Flavor Bender, but I found it and there was like all these different little like tips and tricks like if you kept clicking links and I thought I would just put it all together in one video because I think it's helpful and I thought it was like super cool. They had so many things going on. Yeah, so basically the first part of this is you're gonna get just a cup and a half. I'm using mason jars because they have a lid and it's just really convenient and I have a ton of these at home. But um, it's a cup and a half of water or gin or vodka. I personally like vodka better usually, but with this drink I liked gin. I don't know why, but it just tasted better to me. And then the hard part about this whole recipe was finding these bad boys. Butterfly pea flowers. It's to make tea, like a really blue colored tea, but I, they're, they're not anywhere in like a store, at least that I found. So they're just like these little flower guys. I ended up just buying them on Amazon. They were super cheap. I got two giant packets of them for like, I think it was like 10 bucks. And then all you need for this is five or six of them and they dye this whole thing super bright blue. So you let it sit for, they said three to hours, three hours to overnight. One time I did it overnight and the other time I did it for three hours and it has the same effect. But yeah, so I thought we'd go ahead and get started with that because I have to let this sit before we can move on kind of. So first and foremost, let's put these pea flowers in here. I'm gonna put about five of them. So one, two, oops, three, four, just a little five, six, and then let's just do one more for good luck. Why not? Okay. The coolest part about butterfly pea flowers is that they don't have a flavor. I'm sure if like you did a whole bunch of them, they might, but I can't taste anything different with them in it and they make a big splash. So while you're waiting for this to sit for three hours to overnight, you can go ahead and make the lemon elderflower part of this whole thing, which is actually better because you want it to be chilled before you make the drink itself. So we'll put this to the side over here. And to make your lemon drink, I already did it, but it is so simple. I thought I would just tell you. It's one part lemon juice to one and a half parts elderflower syrup. So you can get elderflower syrup, um, non-alcoholic, just elderflower syrup, and that works. Or you can get the St. Germain, I know St. Germain is one of the brands, but St. Germain liqueur, and it's an elderflower liqueur. But it's really good in this cocktail, I highly suggest it. But I just did, um, what did I do? I did a quarter cup of lemon juice, and then I did a uh, math, three eighths cups, there we go, <laughs> three eighths cups of <laughs> elderflower. And then I got, you know, like half a cup, oh, a little more than that, but you know. If you're gonna make a lot of these, which you will, cause they're really, really good, um, I would do a cup of lemon juice and then a cup and a half of your elderflower and then put it in a bigger mason jar or whatever. I used a hydro flask the first time, whatever closed container you can get and just throw this in the fridge and it'll just chill in there and you'll be ready to go. The only other things you're gonna need are a spoon, a strainer. It's just to get the flowers out of the, your gin or vodka or water. <laughs> you're just gonna want a jigger. This one doesn't have labels. Mm. But then you're gonna need a fireproof glass if you are doing the fire part, which safety first, if it doesn't make you comfortable, don't do it. 
you're gonna need some cinnamon, which I'm gonna put in this little thing because I think it's cuter than this, but you know. And then this is most important second to the butterfly peas because the first time we got this or thought we got this, we actually got edible glitter, which is not the same thing we found out, but it's called luster dust. I've also heard it called like luster petal dust. This is in the color sparkle, but this is ultimate baker luster dust. This is what makes it magical and sparkly. The other thing you're gonna need if you're gonna do the fire part of it, which if it's non-alcoholic, you can't do the fire part. 151, we just used Monarch. I guess uh, Bacardi doesn't make a 151 anymore. Didn't know that. You just want 151 proof rum because it's super alcoholic and that's what catches on fire. Luckily, you don't put very much of this in there because everyone would be <laughs> feeling some kind of way. So yeah, um, there's your lineup. So we got our... That's all you're gonna need to make this. There we are, and we're ready to go. We're just gonna let this sit for a little bit, but it's turning blue, as you can see, already. But we're gonna let it get darker. So, I'll see you in a few hours. Also, if you have any kind of like ice mold that you wanna have blue ice cubes for something, do this, it's so rad. Butterfly pea flowers are like my new favorite thing. Three hours later. Okay, hair. What? I have like a horn up here. It doesn't want to. Anyway, okay, now we've come back after a few hours and we're going to strain our butterfly pea flower stuff. Okay, so let's strain this out. Get our little flowers out of here. Okay. I'm gonna just squeeze those out. I have nowhere to put these. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. We're all strained. Just pour this back in. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the luster dust. It's a quarter teaspoon. If a little more gets in there or a little less, it's just like sprinkles, so it doesn't really matter. This is taking forever. Okay. And we're close. Close, but not quite. Okay. We'll call that good. <laughs> All right, a quarter teaspoon. And we'll just shake it up. Okay, now do you see that magicalness? It looks like it's alive. So now, a little trick if you're vodka or gin comes out more purple at first because the whole point is that it's going to turn from blue to purple but if it starts out as purple after you did the butterfly pea flowers and you're like ah what's going on don't worry it just means that it's more acidic and this is going to change it pure baking soda oh oh, oh that was a lot okay if it turns out too purple you're just gonna put like a tiny pinch in there. Now it's a blue drink. Isn't that cool? Bill Nye knew what was up, science rules. So yeah, if the vodka or gin you use has just a base that's a little bit more acidic, then adding a pinch of baking soda, you're you're back to blue and then when you add the lemon juice it'll turn that bright purple again so no matter what you're pretty set there's our magical blue drinks and I've noticed that gin kind of has a more turquoise color and vodka seems to have a more like royal blue color um, just FYI in case you wanted to know but let's do this thing okay so I'm gonna measure out my um, lemon into this measuring thing because I don't like when something's on fire for too long. So for the lemon drink, it is one and a quarter of this lemon 
good to go. So shake it so it's all sparkly. And we are going to put one and a half of our magical blue. Oh, see? It's already a little purple because I had the lemon in here first. But like we learned, We got one and a half in there. I'm actually gonna make it go a little bit higher just so that you guys can really see the glitter in here. I'm not making this for anybody, so we're in the clear. <laughs> I've got my cinnamon ready to go. I've got my lighter and I've got this. We're gonna put a little of the 151 in here. Now this is just to catch it on fire, so you don't need a lot. So let's just stir this up so you can see the magic that is in the glass. Just the swirl is so fun. Okay, so we are ready to go. So what we're gonna do is layer the 151 and then catch it on fire, sprinkle some cinnamon, and then the lemon juice is what puts the fire out and makes it all purple. So this is super fun, I love it. Here we go. We're going to slowly layer the 151, catch this on fire, grab our cinnamon, which makes it spark. If you want a lot of cinnamon, it makes it spark even more. And then to put it out, the lemon, and you have a magical purple sparkly drink. Ah! <laughs> it's so fun you guys like I love it so much I just think it's so rad now we've got a beautiful sparkly purple drink look at that but anyway okay so with the measurements that I had um, it comes out really strong and I think it's supposed to be a shot technically but if you want to make this into a drink the thing that we did that I thought was delicious probably because I'm just obsessed with LaCroix but um, we just added almost a whole can of LaCroix to it because it's pretty strong I mean and then the 151 on top of it it's like super strong Ooh. so I definitely recommend adding like a soda water to it or even like a 7-up if you like it sweeter and that way you're not just drinking straight liquor but the cool thing about this is that you can do it with just water and lemon juice and you don't have to do the fire part and you can do it for kids like that's so fun. You can just make their water blue and then when you t put a little squirt of lemon in it turns it purple like that's so magical and it's sparkly like I feel like for a girl's like princess fairy party or something it would be so cute. We did it for a witch party and we had them all in these beakers and we made it a whole kind of like witchy show, which we just, we just like putting on a show. Like we just think it's so fun to have a party with friends and like impress them with a cool drink. Cause who does it? That stuff is so fun. But yeah, so I love this drink. It tastes really good too on top of everything, especially if you add the soda water. Give it a try. It's so good and it's so fun to make. I hope you have a blast with this one. Cheers!